Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the Arduino joystick. And the joystick is actually a, a very simple, very simple uh, machine. It's basically two pots, uh, two potentiometers. Um, you've got one for going forward and one for going from side to side. And on the pins here, you've got several pins. You've got ground, 5 volts, VRX and uh, VRY. And the VRY and VRX are basically the analog outputs. So this is an analog sensor. You need some pin on your Arduino that can read analog signals in order to read this. You actually need two pins for it. But basically inside here you have a potentiometer that is going this direction and a potentiometer that's pointing this direction so that you have bi-directional information gathering. Once you have those, the, the signals that come out of this thing vary basically from 0 to about 450. That's about the range of the signals coming out of this thing. But So that means that here when it's sitting at 0, at its home position, you're basically sitting at, uh, what is that, 225? Uh, right there. So when it's vertical, it's 225. In your code, you're going to have to find a way to compensate for that. Either uh, right adjust it by subtracting 225 so that up and down is zero and then back here is negative. Otherwise, you're going to have this is zero, backwards is zero, forwards as 450. So 450, 225, zero. Now, again, like I was saying, the way you can adjust this is by treating this like a number line and whatever value you're getting out of the sensor, subtract 225. So if you subtract 225 from any of the values coming off of it, then you end up with negative 225, 0, and 225. And that's how you're able to basically compensate for the natural tendency of these sensors. You go ahead and just subtract the middle value from the range of the sensor that it's, it's giving you, and then you have it normalized, basically. That's called normalization. So just to review, the joystick sensor for the Arduino is basically two potentiometers uh, put at two different angles. They're both giving an analog output, generally in the range from 0 to 450, but do a print statement to see what your specific range is. And in order to make it easy to work with, you can normalize it by subtracting half of the full range of the servo, of the joystick there. And that's how you can use this. You can then feed these values into servos to control a robot or anything else.